Well, this is Bixby Elementary School in Long Beach, California. And this place brings back a lot of memories, both good and bad. My mom and dad had five kids. I have two older brothers and two older sisters. And my mom and dad had divorced. And that had a lot of pain for me. When I was eight years old, my mom remarried. A man that really loved her, but didn't really like the kids all that much. His name was Hank. I nicknamed him Hank the Tank. He spent 20 years in the military, and this new family of his was gonna be run with the military precision of a barracks. And I can remember he'd make me hang up my jacket 500 times if I left it on my bedroom floor. And then all of a sudden my mom just couldn't, couldn't come out of the bedroom. Something was wrong, she was sick. None of us knew what was happening. And about six weeks later, my brother, Mike, began to call each of his kids into the bedroom one at a time. I went into that room, I was thinking, what in the world is in there? And Mike sat on the bed and had me sit up on his lap and he said, Jimmy, I got some bad news, mom is dead. I remember I clawed his forearm so hard I drew blood with my nails and he just let me squeeze him and that was the day everything changed. The funeral happened and Hank was so emotionally distraught he couldn't even go to the funeral and when we got home that afternoon he had sold all the furniture. He came out of the bedroom and had his bags packed and just said, I can't take the pressure, I have to leave. I'm moving back to San Francisco. And we just all pressed our faces against the window in that house in Long Beach and watched him drive away. Our dad wasn't around. Here our mom had just died and our stepdad had walked out on us. So there we were that night. We used our clothes for pillows. We used our clothes for blankets. And we just sat in that living room that night thinking, what's next? And Dave said, I think I know a family that will take us in. It was the real family, the most unreal family that you'd ever want to meet. The next day, we're on the way. I didn't fit in at the real family. It was March 1971, and five kids left Long Beach, California and we came down this dirt road, T-Circle Drive, to a foster care family. I would say that was the day Psalm 34, 18 became so real in my heart. It says the Lord is close to those who are brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. And that walk down that dirt road was the day I was crushed in spirit. This is Morongo Valley Elementary School. I showed up here late in third grade and went through most of fourth grade, Mr. Todd's class. I can remember coming from the Reels house, getting on that bus, getting off here at the school property. Some days I just walk out of his class, just being crushed again and thinking, God, are you there? Is this what life is like? My mother's dead, my dad's gone, her stepdad walked out. And I'd sit on a sand hill while all the other kids were in class and I just cry. God, where are you? Where are you? Could it get any worse? Somehow that real experience did something in my heart. I mean, it crushed me, but it made me stronger. I don't know, I think God used that to say it's okay. You know, he's a father to the fatherless, and somehow he put his hand around the back of my neck and said, you're not gonna go the wrong way. Like the scriptures say in Romans 8:28, all things work for good to those who love him and are called by his name. And even in the bad things, you can learn how to do the right thing, to be a better dad, a better husband. And with two small boys, every day I tell them I love them and I'm proud of them. And when I say it, they just get the biggest smiles on their faces. That's the kind of dad I want to be.